Men, as president of the Atomic Sauerkraut Company, I'm going to tell you today that the answer to the whole crux of this problem of speeding up production is to just get in there with a little bit more of that one little word, incentive. <coughs> now, out of the plan, I have been working out a plan of incentive which is a crackerjack. Here's the way it works out. Nothing to it at all, simple as ABC, a child can understand it. None of this nonsense about wage increases. All that we ask the employee of the plant to do is just simply and merely to try to remember to shave their slips that they are issued from time to time from our cashier's desk. That is the red, green, and yellow slips on our form B-2. Not the pink ones, just the red, green, and yellow ones on the form B-2. That is providing, of course, that the employee had been working steadily and continuously with the firm with a good record for a minimum of, uh, uh, 38 years. At that time, <coughs> the slips were then issued in duplicate form directly into the hands of our judging and investigating committee. <laughs> We had some Jim Dandy fellows on that judging and investigating committee. <laughs> Several members of the Jersey City Foundation for the abolishment of uh, Jersey City. Grand bunch of traps on that. Then it was just a question of the employee simply and merely awaiting his turn. That is for the slips to clear through the necessary channels. Took a little while, six or seven months, something of that kind. Anyway, at that time, the employee then received his... Um, application blank. Uh, <clears throat> now, there was just one thing to remember in that connection. That was this, that the employee did have to remember to sign his name on both sides of the blank. I mention that because last year we had a Mr. Feeney of our squeezing department who neglected to do that, <laughs> thus forfeiting the whole reward. <laughs> too bad. Nice chap. Just about to qualify for our good conduct bin, too. Been with us 50 years. Well, that's life, I suppose. <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> well, from then on, it was just a question of the employee barely submitting to the usual uh, uh, basic metabolism test. And if the employee passed that simple test and posted a small bond of thirty-five or forty thousand dollars or real estate, he was entitled to a choice of premiums or rewards for that extra or incentive that he'd been showing in his work, either reward A, which entitled that employee to an all-expense-paid evening of fun and frolic at the famous Stork Club, located at downtown Passaic, or a beautiful, large, lifelike photograph of President McKinley, suitable for hanging. Well, there she goes. All right, boys, everybody back to work. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.